Greetings Oracle folks. In this Oracle database uh, YouTube video tutorial I'm going to show you how to disable an Oracle database trigger. Um, an Oracle database trigger is a feature of Oracle which allows um, a certain block of code to be executed every time a certain event occurs. Okay, And in this particular database we have a trigger setup which is which is set up to fire every time an Oracle database starts up and I'm going to show you how to disable that now so we set up Oracle SID we ensure we are set properly and we log on to our database show user ensure we're connected as a sys user do a select name from the dollar sign database and we see we're connected as the finance uh, to the finance database. Okay, if we take a look at the triggers which we have defined to this Oracle database, select trigger name from DBA triggers, and DBA triggers is a is an Oracle database data dictionary view, which shows you all the um, triggers defined to your database. We will see that we have a trigger called startup underscore trigger. And if we were to select the trigger body column from DBA triggers, where trigger name is equal to startup underscore trigger. So if we were to say select trigger underscore body, so give us the code of the trigger from DBA underscore triggers, where trigger underscore name is equal to startup underscore trigger we will see the code that gets executed every time the Oracle database is started okay and the and what we have here is we have begin we have insert into startup value so insert the value started into the um, into the table startup commit and then end the trigger and if we were to say select triggering event from DBA triggers where trigger name is equal to startup underscore trigger, we will see startup. So this tells us that in response to an Oracle database starting up, execute this code. So in the, in the response to the Oracle database starting up, insert the value of started into the tables startup okay so we know we have a trigger that does that so we do select asterisk from startup you see we have no values we do a shutdown immediate And we do a startup. And we do select aspect from startup. We will see that we have a value startup. That the, so the trigger fired in response to the Oracle database starting up and inserted started into the startup table and one more time we shut down the Oracle database and we start it up We will see that we have two rows in the startup table now because the trigger executed twice due to the fact that we started up our database twice. So if you type in select trigger name comma status, so we're selecting the trigger underscore name in the status column from DBA triggers where trigger 
name is equal to startup underscore trigger, we will see that this trigger is currently enabled. To disable this trigger, you type in the following, alter trigger, so we're going to modify the trigger, uh, startup underscore trigger, disable. So we're going to say alter trigger, startup underscore trigger, disable. Now, if we select the status of the trigger, we see it's disabled. From startup, we see we select asterisk from startup, rather, <laughs> and we see we have two rows. Now, with the trigger disabled, go ahead and shut down the Oracle database. and start up your database. And we will see from our select statement here that there are only two rows here. Even though we started the database up a third time, there are only two entries because we disabled our trigger up here. To re-enable your trigger, type in alt so we see that the trigger did not fire. Even though it's still defined, we didn't we didn't drop it, delete it. So to re-enable your database trigger so it will fire ne next time that event occurs, type in the opposite. Alter trigger startup underscore trigger enable. So that's alter trigger startup underscore trigger enable and if we do a select status we see that it's now enabled as opposed to disabled which it was the last time we checked it after we disabled it so it's now enabled so startup to rows so go ahead and let's test to see that the trigger has been enabled successfully well re-enabled successfully rather Start up the Oracle database again. And we will see we now have a third row here as opposed to just two. Because, so we see that the trigger has fired again. So the trigger is now firing again because in response to the database starting because we re-enabled the trigger. Okay? That's how you disable and re-enable um, a database trigger.